Hey guys, it's the Econ Boo here. The new release of Gen Pages, which is a Shopify page editor, includes a tool that is going to change the way that you design your Shopify stores, because it uses the new Gem AI technology to scan any website or image and create a fully editable layout that you can use on your Shopify store. And in this video, I'm going to show you how it works and we're going to create a landing page using the image to layout technology combined with other Gem Pages features. So let's get started in three, two, one. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna assume that you already have Shopify installed, but if you don't, or if you're making a new store, check out the link that I'm gonna leave on the description where you can get a free trial of Shopify and also a few months for only $1 per month. And the app that we're gonna be using is Gem Pages, and I'm also going to leave a link in the description so you can find it easily. Once you have it installed, go to Shopify and open the app. From the dashboard, you can create landing pages, home pages, product pages, etc. And this is the main tool that we're gonna be using. If you see the banner, you can click on try it now, or you can just access it from any page that you're creating. For example, let's create a landing page. And in here, you can put any website that you want the AI to scan and get sections from. Or you can also upload a screenshot or design of your website. For example, let's say that you are Googling and you find some nice layout that you want to use. Let's say, for example, this. You will save the image and upload the image file into Gem Pages. Now, some of you guys use Figma to design the websites. And you can also, you know, save the image from Figma and also import it here. And in this case, we're gonna go with the URL. So we're going to import this URL, Alo Yoga, because I like the style of this website and I want to copy some sections from. For example, this uh, Instagram thing, I wanna copy that. I also wanna copy this thing. So let's see how all of this works. Let's just copy the URL and paste it in here and click on generate. All the AI tools use the word generate. Generative AI, generative AI. AI, generative AI, generative AI, generative AI, AI as AI. It took about 40 seconds to read the entire website and it separated it into sections. So now we can choose which sections we want to import. So I don't want the banner. I want this one. Uh, I don't want any of this. I want the Instagram feed, that's pretty cool. And I don't want the footer, All right? So I want these sections right here. Now we're gonna click on generate again. And this is going to create the layout, okay? It's gonna create the rows, the columns, even read the text and put the text in there. All right, seems like it is done. And it created the different sections you see here. This is one section, section three. Here, that's another section. And of course you can move the sections up and down and reorder anything as you wish. But the cool thing about Gem Pages is that you have control over everything here. I can change any of these things. For example, this is actually a product list. This is getting data from my Shopify products. I could change any of these products by coming here and clicking on pick products. And let's say instead of that pro yoga mat, I want to have this lovely lady right here. This is my wife, by the way, so. <laughs> now Gem Pages decided that this section had this product list. However, on this one, it's just a row of images, a row with four columns and one image on each column. Why did it decide that this was products and this was images? Well, when it read the website, it detected that these are actual products. You see, that's the layout that is copying. And it detected that these are just images. All right, so it replicated it into our layout. So if I want to convert this into products, I will have to create a product list instead of image. But let's just work with what we have right here. All right, so you saw how Gem AI read the entire website and took the sections that we selected and put it into our Gem Pages layout. That already saved us a lot of time, but now we're gonna go ahead and start editing this template so we can get a really cool and improved landing page. So the first thing that we're gonna do is put a banner up here, okay? And it's gonna be a video banner. So first of all, I want to delete this stuff here that I don't need. For example, this text block, you just click on it and you have the erase tool right here. See, it's gone. And now we're going to add a row over here. So we go here to the left side, click on the row and drag it over here. 
I see now this is a section and you have the options over here in case that you want to make it two columns three columns whatever right I just want to make it one column because I'm going to put a video inside so let's go back over here and find the video tool which is going to be inside of the media elements all right we're going to add this video now you have a few options to embed video using gem pages so you have YouTube, Vimeo, and also HTML5. If you're making a banner and you want an autoplay loop, I will recommend using HTML5 because YouTube will always have, you know, the YouTube bar and the YouTube icon, right? And that doesn't look good on a banner. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose HTML5. Now it's gonna ask you for the link, okay? Where is this video store? And to make it simple, we're gonna store the video on our own Shopify website. And how to do that? Very easy. Let's just go back to our Shopify backend and you're gonna click on content. And now you're gonna click on files. These are all of the files that you have on your website. So let's go ahead and click on upload files and we're gonna upload this video right here. Click on open. And now you just have to wait for a little bit until it uploads. All right, it finished uploading. Now what we're gonna do is click here to copy the link of the video. Now we're gonna go back to Gem Pages and substitute that with the new link. Now, just as good practice, we're gonna save what we have done so far. And we're also gonna click on this I because we're going to preview what we're doing so far. So this is how our website is looking right now. You see the video, it has the controls, you can play, you can stop it. And of course, this is not a cool banner, okay? But we're gonna make it cool right now. Let's go back to the editor. The first thing that we're gonna do is select the video, okay? And we're going to select a few options here. For example, autoplay is gonna be on. We're not going to enable sound. We're going to click on loop video. So it plays continuously when it ends. And we're not gonna show the control bar, okay? So the play, pause, we don't want that. This is a banner. Let's preview this one more time. Now the video starts automatically and there's no buttons, exactly how we wanted it, all right? But we still need to make a few more changes. I want the video to be on the entire screen. So we're gonna go over here to the section and on the options, we're going to click on full width, all right? Let's save and preview one more time to see how it looks now. Boom, perfect, all right? So the video is taking up the entire page. Now remember that Gem Pages is a page editor. So the menu, the header, right? And also the footer is going to be controlled by the actual theme that you're using. Right now I'm using one of the free themes is the down theme and I don't even have a logo. And for this tutorial, we're not gonna mess with the header or the footer. So what I'm gonna do is disable those. So we're gonna come here and click on the settings and we're going to go all the way here and deselect use Shopify themes header and use Shopify themes footer. Right now, there's not gonna be any header or footer on our website. The next thing that we're going to do is fix this stuff because the AI read this and it did its best, but it's still on beta, all right? So it's gonna get better, but right now it wasn't able to read this style very good. So we're just gonna replace it. It's gonna be very simple. Let's just delete this thing and let's just copy this one, for example. We are gonna duplicate it and now we just drag it over here. All right, so now we have something similar on all of them. Now I want to change the images here. So I'm going to click on the image. We're going to change image and we're going to select another one, just like that. And now I'm gonna do the same for these other images. Just like that, so I have images of products that are actually going to be playing on the video. Let's preview it really quickly, all right. So we have the video and then the images. Now I want to make this cooler. So how about we get these images right here and we put them on top of the video, partially on top. How could we do that? Very easy. Let's just go here to the row that is on top. All right, this row that is controlling the video and we're going to click on advance. And now we're going to change the spacing. So we're going to go ahead and lower the spacing, maybe something like 250, all right? Now let's save it and preview it. All right, so now the products appear on top of the video. All right, that's pretty cool. You know, you don't see that on every website. That's one of the cool things about uh, this editor, man, that you can make all the changes that you want to create crazy things.
Now, after this, I want to add something before the products, okay? So we're going to click here to add something else and it will allow us to use Gem AI again, but in this case, I'm going to use a template. And these are templates that uh, Gem Pages has, you know, that you can use, select any of them and put it on your website. So I wanna add this section. So let's click on add to page. All right, here it is. Now let's just make some changes. Let's change these two images. So you already know how to do that. Click on it, change image. And we're gonna put this one. All right, and now for this one, we're also gonna change it to this one right here. All right, now I don't like this font, okay? So I'm gonna just change this to a heading four and also I'm going to put it uh, black, all right? And I'm gonna do the same for the rest. I think this is looking tasteful and I hope that you're following along just fine and that you are understanding my accent. If you're liking the video so far, please give me a like and also consider subscribing for more content like this. Now let's make a few more changes because I have an idea. So for the products, instead of having four products, how about we only have two products, huge products right there across the entire page. So. Let's try that and see how it looks. So let's hover over this and go to product list. Okay, so we get the settings of the product list. Remember that the way that gem pages works is that they have things inside things. So there's a, for example, a heading here and the header is being contained by a row, the same way here. So this is a product image and gallery and it's contained within a row and also that row is contained within a product list. So we want to change the settings of the product list. And right now we're displaying four products per row. So let's change that to only two. And let's also remove the column gap. So this spacing right here between the columns, we're gonna put zero. Now they are closer together. Now I still want them to be completely close. So we're gonna select the row that contains these two images. Because if you click on advanced, you can see that there's some inside space and I want to remove that. Okay, right now it's at eight pixels. I wanna make it zero and also zero right here. Now there's no distance between the elements of the row, but I also want to make these images longer. I want to see the entire model wearing the products. So let's go and click on product images and galleries. Okay, you just have to, you know, see and look, you know, what options are you looking for? Maybe they are inside the product list, the row, the product image and gallery. It depends. So you just have to explore until you find it. Now, I'm here inside the product images and galleries and the ratio of the photo is on one by one. So a square, I wanna change that to nine by 16. Boom, yes, this is what I want. Uh, I don't want the title of the product. I don't want the pricing of the product. Yes, I want that, that's good. Now, maybe the buttons are uh, way too close together. We can change that. Let's just click on product card button to edit these uh, buttons. I'm going to click on advance to add some spacing. So let's add some inline spacing. Let's add, I don't know, eight pixels on the right and eight pixels on the left. All right, yeah, now looks a little bit better. I like that. Now it's still showing uh, four products. So I got to fix that. Let's go here to the product list and remove these two products. All right, now it goes directly to these two products and then the Instagram. Perfect. This is looking pretty good and I hope that you're getting the idea on how everything works. Once you understand how the sections, the rows and also the columns work, then it's pretty easy. So I'm gonna remove this thing. I don't want this. So let's click on row and delete that one. All right, this is looking pretty good. Now, the final thing that I want to do is fix this text. So I click on the heading and I'm gonna change that to maybe heading three. I saw this thing that they have at the bottom of the product pages and I think this looks pretty cool. So I'm going to import this page and just get that bottom section. So I'm gonna copy the URL and I'm going to add a section from the URL using game AI, generate, and I'm going to deselect all of these sections that I don't want. I'm just going to keep this one. Click on generate, and there we go, it imported it. Now let's do some cleaning of stuff that we don't need. So this allo thing, we don't need that. This is supposed to be just one column. All right, perfect. Now, 
I think that we should do a little bit of a different background in one of these. You see how it's all white, 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 white background, white background, all of it is white. Uh, I think we should do like a gray background here. So I'm gonna go here to this section and I'm gonna go to the background section and click on color. And I'm gonna choose uh, this one and I'm actually gonna make it 50% and I'm going to activate full width so it expands all the way. So you see we have gray here and then we also have gray here. And finally, we can also do it here on section seven. Let's create a background gray. Let's put it at 50% and make it full width. All right. So I think our website, our landing page is finished. Let's save it and let's preview it one last time. All right. Look at that. Yes. Awesome. I love this thing with the images on top of the video. You know, I think it's super cool. And then we scroll down, we have, you know, some uh, value proposition, whatever that is, the images of the two products. Maybe I should have left a little bit of gap here, hmm. whatever. Also, we have the Instagram feed and, you know, some icons and then a final statement of how good this brand is for the world and for school kids and all of that. I hope that you got some value out of this video. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. And if you want to see more videos that I have about gem pages, check them out right here. Like and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm out. <laughs>